my name is Maris. I'm a senior iOS developer and indie hacker, as we like to call it. I am also a part of Building Public group on Twitter, um, or X, I guess. And I'm sharing everything I can about my process uh, of building apps and making money off of them. I will for sure share more here on YouTube as well. It's a rainy Sunday day, so I guess there is nothing else for me to do but to work on my side hustle. For the last month, I've been working on a huge refactoring of my app, Trading Tracker. It's an app for stock market traders so they can track trades, optimize their strategies and evaluate their profitability. The reason for the refactoring is that the app no longer fits the initial scope and it requires more features. Unfortunately, I did a very bad job when I first wrote the code, so now I have to basically redo all of it. The old code violates all code principles, and since I'm rewriting the UI as well from UIKit to Swift UI, I might as well rewrite the whole app, and while I will be doing that, I will use clean architecture. The new code base will be split into multiple packages. The most important is the domain package. It contains the business logic, uh, all calculations of profits, and so on. Then there is a separate data package, which contains a concrete implementation of Firebase data source. Each feature will also live on its own in the package as well as domain and data layer. The good thing about this architecture is that I can rip out the domain layer and reuse it in another app, or I can write unit tests to ensure the app is working as expected. All thanks to the clean architecture and the domain layer being completely independent. As you can see, all dependencies go out of the domain layer, so the domain layer is not dependent on anything. The revenue from this app is slowly growing, now at about 900 monthly recurring revenue. And so is the user base. Initially, Trading Tracker should have been just a simple journaling app, where you would put the date, uh, your profit or loss for the day, some notes, and that's it. But as time went on, I decided to do something bigger. To allow traders to also import and track trades. At first, only stock trades were supported and it meant that a huge number of users were not able to use the app. Now, all kinds of traders can use it because the app supports almost all trading instruments such as Forex, Options and Futures. Let's grab some coffee before the next part of this video. So these last few days I've been working on the journal feature, the most important feature of the app. Traders can go through each day and see how they did. I made a custom calendar view with interactive days. There are multiple scenarios, so the whole screen is pretty complex. Traders can not only add the entire trades for a specific day, but they also can add something I call daily summary. The main purpose of daily summary is to provide a quick and easy way to track your daily progress. In the journal, traders can also track their emotions and feelings. If you don't know what trading is about, it's a battle of you versus you. And knowing and being aware of your emotions while trading is a pretty valuable skill to have.
This whole refactoring thought me a lot. I have never worked with clean code and clean architecture before, so I think I grew a lot as a developer. Also, I think there is a valuable lesson in all this. When starting a new project, don't just wing it. Make sure to have at least some architecture in mind, otherwise, as your project grows, you will find a bottleneck just like I did. Yes, it takes more time and more code, but on the other hand, you will save so much time not having to worry about changing your UI framework or data source if done correctly. After this huge refactoring is finished, I will be focusing all of my time on marketing. I've been neglecting marketing ever since I launched the app. I was stuck in a rabbit hole of the app being not ready for marketing, and so here I am, making it ready. I don't even have a website for it. That will probably be the first thing I'll do. I would also like to make some email automations for new users, maybe some free trial offers via email, and so on. By the way, if you enjoy this kind of content and you would like to see more about my freelance or indie journey, make sure to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot and I will be very thankful. And now I would like to hear from you. Do you have your own app you are working on? Or are you a freelancer? How do you find new clients? Please let me know down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.